Okay, good afternoon. It's about uh, 2 o'clock here, 2 p.m. in Southern California. The shop temperature here has gotten up to 18 degrees centigrade, so it's pretty nice. It was pretty cold out here this morning at, uh, at 8 o'clock, but now it's pretty nice. Um, so I, I want to just uh, um, publish a quick video um, on the uh, on the TIG tailstock build um, just to show people where I'm at on this. Um, we've done a lot of rough machining, nothing fancy, so I mean it's just off camera. But um, uh, after this uh, short first part here, I will um, <clears throat> I'll move the camera a little bit and you can see um, what we've developed so far. Um, <clears throat> not, it's not pretty, it's just roughed out, but um, we're making progress. Um, the next step that I have to do is to um, I have to bore the quill. Um, I need to bore a, a MT1 Morris taper in this quill and um, so what I've done is uh, put a test piece in the um, in the lathe here to see how that's going to go before I before I fool around with the real thing so what I what I've done so far to pre prepare for this is I already had a, uh, a test piece, a, a test quill piece um, that I that I turned in the lathe previously. So all I did was chuck that up, and uh, I drilled a um, I think one size under three eighths uh, hole in here. And um, I don't know what I did with it. Oh, here it is. So I purchased. Um, some reamers from banggood.com okay this is an MT1 reamer this is the finished reamer I have the roughing reamer chucked up right now so what I'm going to attempt to do is I'm going to use the lathe and I've got it chucked up in the chuck and I'm going to I drilled the hole so now I'm going to attempt to run the reamer in there and um, I'm, I'm assuming if that runs in okay then I'll be able to use the the finish reamer and finish the finish the hole. Um, I also purchased a um, a MT1 center. Let's see if I can find what I did with it here. I laid it in here someplace. I've got a drawer full of centers here. Um, I purchased an MT1 center from from Shars. So. I needed that. I didn't have any MT1 tooling at all. So, I, I, for the tailstock, you don't need a lot of tooling. But there's a couple things I need. I need a um, uh, a, a way to um, connect the chuck and also a center. Uh, those are the two main things I, I probably need. Probably there's other things that I haven't thought of too. Every time I do something new, I need lots of new tooling. So, anyway, uh, that's where I'm at and. Um, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna film this one little part here, and I don't know how it's gonna go. I have no idea. So we're just gonna turn on the lathe and and work this in there slowly. And I'm like I say, I'm a bit apprehensive, but I have no reason to think this isn't gonna go nicely. This is just cast iron, so I think it should probably ream out fairly easily. And I've got to go up in here, um, uh, I think it's 2.13 inches, and um, I'm assuming this isn't going to take very long. But uh, that said, I see the lathe 
you know, bopped a little bit there, so maybe, maybe I might be wrong. tailstock in order to do this also. deep enough either. I ran it down in there a couple inches, but uh, I'm thinking now it's probably got it. I should have ran it down in there at least three inches. I think my quill will go in deep enough for the Morris taper. down like lickety split so Well, 
So what I'm going to have to do, I don't know how much deeper my hole is. I'm filling up with with cast iron dust right now. So I'm going to uh, shut shut this off. I'm going to move. I'm going to move in a little bit with the tailstock and um, see if we can. Like I say, I don't know how deep I drilled that hole. Hopefully, I drilled it a little deeper than I needed to. Oh, well, that's it. That'll be. That should be way more than enough. I'm just going to go to the end of my hole. Hopefully, I'll be able to tell when I get there. getting close. Maybe what, if I'll edit this video maybe and I'll fast forward through part of this because uh, if I have any problems I'll publish them but uh, if there's no problem I'll just fast forward. Okay, I think I'm at the end of the hole. So, hopefully, um, if I can some way to tell how far I'm up in there um, here maybe I can tell with this I'm up, I'm up in there at about uh, about two and a quarter so Oh yeah, now yeah, I'm up in there far enough. That, that's probably all. All I should go in there. Well, let's see. I don't know how long this is getting. Uh, maybe let me. Um, that's going good. I don't see any problem with that. I think that's going to work out just fine. So um, we've got a beautiful hole in there right now. So. The uh, center fits in there perfectly. I don't want to shove it in there. I have no way to get it back out again. But it um, seems to fit really well. So um, let me uh, let me shut the camera off for a second, and then uh, we'll I'll show you where we're at here on this uh, on this tailstock uh, build. Let me uh, see if I can figure out how to shut this. Up. So I'm probably going to be in the way here. I'm not sure. Not sure I can get the camera out of the out of the limelight here. We'll see. So um, let me maybe zoom out just a little bit. All right, here's the here here's let me turn this light on too. I had the light off for the other. Okay, so here's where we're at on the tailstock. Um, what I did was. So I milled the dub. Okay, <laughs> from the from the beginning, I had an old carriage um, that was laying around. Um, basically, it's it's the same as this one, except um, it didn't have the uh, the the feed. It was it that was prior to when we just had a manual feed. So I had this old carriage left over. So um, I I cut it down. I put it in the mill and I made it I think uh, two inches wide and I was able to use the jib and the and uh, the hole here for the locking hole. Okay? Uh, just spun it around the other way. So I cut a dovetail in here. Now last time, I think the last video I had 
some of this block uh, milled. But that said, I we had some big sections that needed cut out on either side here. So I cut those out and I cut a dovetail on the bottom so it's a nice tight fit. And I got a jib. I'll play I haven't placed the jib yet because Theoretically, right now I'm about 21 thousandths high, and I'm and I'm using some some techniques to figure that out. But let me get this off here. But it, this is the original tailstock, and it and if you slide it up in here, it it goes into the the place where I've got a, a center drill drill. I drill the center in there. But uh, that said, if I put a um, a adjustable parallel under here and check that distance and then add half the distance of the quill and I did this I do the same with the um, with the tailstock I end up with a 20 th 21 thousandths difference so I'm a little bit high so what I want to do is I want to get the Morse taper put into the quill first and then what I'm going to do is um, I'll use a DTI um, on on and I'll put the center in there and I'll put the DTI on that and and um, check check the DTI up in the quill up I mean in the spindle and uh, rotate rotate it around and find out actually exactly where I'm at. That's probably the best way to figure it out. So. Side to side, I have no problems. You know, I'm just going to have a couple set screws down here to tighten this jib up, and once it's set, it's set. So that's where we're at. Um, the the quill and all this is working fine. We have no problems with that. Um, what I had to do is this this um, base unit down here that was the original carriage for the for the tag. This is a too thin to put a dovetail and everything into. So I had to add a, a, a spacer block in here. So what I did is I keyed it, I cut a little key into the into the carriage, into the old carriage piece, and I keyed it in there and then and anchored it and then and then cut the dovetail in it. So all that is is working very nicely. Uh, we have no problems with that. So that's where we're at on the project and um, so the next step once this test piece is is done and it and it works fine I'll go ahead and cut this quill the length that I've got here and um, we'll uh, we'll get it we'll, we'll, we'll put we'll put the empty one um, uh, bore in here so and we've got a lot of the work to do you know so we've got to put a, the, the clamping um, lever up here, and we've got to put a um, a, uh, a a groove in the bottom of this for this to run in. And um, so there's a few things to do, and there's a cap that goes on the back here, and the um, this thing should extend two inches. So I've got an inch here. And two inches here, so I should be able to get out three inches over the carriage. By the time I put a center in here or whatever I'm going to do, a drill check, I'll be way out over the carriage, so I should be just fine. That's the idea, you know. I want to get out over the carriage um, and quit having to fool around with the the current setup. So that's uh, that's where I'm at. So I'm going to call off now and uh, just make this a short video. So hopefully, um, hopefully you got something out of this, and and uh, I'll publish another progress video um, sometime down the road here. Okay, thanks for watching. Talk to you later. Bye bye.